Welcome to TechBrother with Amarvi. In this video, we are going to learn how to skip rows from CSV file and load to the Azure SQL table by using a data flow activity in Azure Data Factory. So we often have these scenarios where we get some file which has some information on top of it. In this case, this is a monthly file created on this time and then a total records. So you have uh, those uh, CSV file where you few of the records are really information and then your header start. Uh, so in this case also that's the case. Uh, so our header is starting from the third row and then we have data after that. Uh, so how you read this uh, type of files uh, in uh, Azure Data Factory by using data flow, that's what we are gonna learn today. Now let me take you to the container here. That's uh, our uh, blob storage and in the container we have input and here we have a total sale uh, file. Let's click on edit and uh, these two records are just there for information and actually headers start from uh, right there on the third row. I'm gonna close it and then we go to the data flow. Here uh, we can uh, create a new data flow. So go to data flows here and uh, create new data flow. Now go to source here, add source. Now we are gonna create data set uh, and uh, Azure blob storage, that's where our file is, CSV file, that's true. And then we are gonna create new linked service. Uh, now we'll go and select our subscription, then uh, select our blob storage, uh, test the connection, and uh, we created uh, Azure blob storage 10 uh, linked service. Uh, click uh, right there and navigate to your file. Total size sale is that CSV is our file. Now, does it has header? Yes, it does. And I'm saying uh, none for the schema import. Uh, because if I will say first row has header and then I will say import from schema from file, it's gonna get the first call row, row as a column. So that's not really right information. Our files column name started from the third row. So here is the feature you are gonna use that to skip the line count. So see skip line count, I'm saying skip two of them. So once you skip two of them, you should be good to go. And uh, now what we can do, we can go to the projection here and hit uh, import projection. Okay, our schema is uh, here and uh, we can see right there. And now you can see that we have ID, sale person, first name, last name, and all those uh, details, uh, the columns, what we have uh, in the header. Looks good. And uh, now we can go and preview the data. Let's uh, say, refresh and uh, it should get us the data so it is going to start from the third row so that's important and follow the steps what i showed you the first uh, because uh, if you import schema at start of the creating data set uh, you will be messed up all the uh, schema and that's where you are going to have problem so you have id sale person first name and last name this is a column now and uh, then the uh, next one is uh, uh, your data Looks good, let's go to the sync here and uh, then uh, we are going to write the data to the table. Uh, now here uh, we are going to create, uh, uh, load the data to the Azure, blog, Azure SQL. So Azure SQL database and uh, now I will go create a new linked service and uh, use the subscription, use the server name, use the database name TechBrowser TTB and then I provide username TBDB. Now not TBDB, TB user and provide the password. And uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to test and uh, then uh, create our linked service, uh, Azure SQL Database 5. So now we will select uh, the table name, uh, total sale table. That's our table. We don't have to do anything from here. Uh, hit OK. Now we go back uh, in the SQL uh, and uh, that's the definition of my table that I just created before I start in the demo. If you look at the table data here and uh, right now we have some data, I can truncate this table and then we will reload. So you have ID, sale person, first name, last name, and all that, and then you have file name as well. I did not add the file name in the data flow as of now. Now let's go back here, and uh, our uh, uh, data flow is ready. It's called data flow three, and I'm gonna create a new pipeline, uh, and then uh, I will drag this uh, data flow here. Now we'll uh, run debug or click on debug, it's gonna load the data from our file. It's gonna skip two rows, uh, the, the first ones, uh, and then starting from our header, and uh, load the data for us. Um, our pipeline, as well as the uh, data flow, has been completed successfully. Let's go back to the our table and take a look. Uh, select start from a total sale table, uh, and uh, we should see the data. Now you can see that uh, we have the data, but there is one problem. We have a sold date in the file, but that coming as a null. Uh, also, there is a file name column that's also null, so we, we can put actually file name there. Let's go back to the our data flow three, and uh, now we are gonna go to source here, go to source settings, uh, 
go to the projection here and uh, we see sold date is the date and here let's specify the format we are telling us month month day day why why so now we should be fine also i'm going to go back to the source here and the source options and i'm going to add a column called the file name now file name will be the actual file name that's going to create a new column that will be mapped to the destination now also what we can do on the destination side if we want to just truncate a table before load that's that will just click right here and it should do it and now we go back to our pipeline too and uh, debug again this should uh, truncate the table and uh, then uh, load the data from our file uh, it will uh, skip two first rows and starting from the third that's our header and then load all the data our data flow and pipeline has been completed successfully let's go back to the ssms and uh, run our query to see the data and you can see that the sole data just came fine after we change the, the format also we have the file name in the file name column so this is how you will skip the rows in your source file and load from the starting point that you would like to do in the data flow task or activity in azure data factory i thank you very much for watching my videos please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video